bled in an effort to pave the way for reforms in possible elections. Meanwhile, Russia and Turkey are getting ready to, they were going to begin uh, joint con uh, patrols in Syria. Now, for more, we bring in RT correspondent Sarah Montes de Oca to break it all down. A lot going on, Sarah. That's right. Well, Steve, because there are several armies in Syria, this makes the situation a little bit more complicated. As the United Nations Syria envoy prepares for talks in Geneva. Russian, Turkish, and Iranian leaders met on Tuesday to discuss the launch of the Syrian Constitutional Committee. Now, the meeting came just one day before that group convenes for the first time. That session took place in Geneva earlier today in an effort to peace negotiations. Trump had previously announced the withdrawal of all U.S. troops from Syria, but last week said they could be returning to the country, not to support Kurdish allies, but to secure the oil. U.S. claims oil fields needed protection from ISIS, a move Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov called arrogant, accusing Washington of illegal action. The actions of the United States and Syria are clearly in violation of international law. The U.S.-led coalition is there illegally and against the will of the government in Damascus. The U.S. made a statement saying it is staying in Syria, days after it made another statement saying it's pulling out. And even those who left for Iraq are now coming back to Syria to save the oil fields from ISIL. This looks like a pretext to me, especially considering that back in March, Washington said ISIL had been defeated. So the three leaders released a joint statement saying they would respect Syria's territorial integrity and political unity, governed by compromise without foreign interference, allowing Syria to be Syria-owned and Syrian-led. It is important that all of us insist on the territorial integrity of Syria, uh, we believe that uh, the territory of Syria should be uh, controlled by the government and the military and armed forces of Syria, and they should be responsible for providing security to Syria and to the neighbors of Syria. But top Turkish minister said his country will not hesitate to take action if they see terrorist activity. Ladies and gentlemen, contrary uh, to allegations from certain circles, the Operation Peace Supreme will uh, bolster prospects uh, for the political process. This is because the PYD, YPG, is a terrorist organization with a separatist agenda. So the committee consists of 150 members, including government delegates, Syrian opposition, and civilian representatives. 30% of them are women. Now this is while Turkish President Erdogan announced today that Russia and Turkey agreed to begin patrols in northern Syria Wednesday afternoon to ensure safety in the region. This also comes after a meeting between the leaders of the two countries last week, where Putin and Erdogan signed a memorandum of understanding. Steve, it remains unclear how the UN meetings will go this week or if the existing 2012 Syrian constitution will be redrafted or whether they'll have to start completely from scratch. But either way, there's uh, some room and some hope for some sort of solution. Shalom. Call hello, Allah, Yahweh, Pashim, Yahusha, which means all praises to Yahweh, which is the true name of the Heavenly Father, who you people ignorantly call God, by Hashem, and in, in the name of Yahweh, Shah, which is the name of the only begotten Son, who you people ignorantly call Jesus Christ. Those are the true names of the Heavenly Father and the Son. Plus, I want to give a shout out to the Akim that's pushing and spreading this word throughout the four corners of the earth, who is words, who's, uh, 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 who's also uplifting the names, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahusha. Also to the Israelite foreigners who might look like the other nations, okay, whose bloodline traces back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, our forefathers, though you look like the heathen nations. The heathen nations are the nations, as you see on the chart, from two on down. Those are the heathen nations. Also, if your lineage, your seed line, goes back to these tribes, as you see on this chart, through the man. And if it's spirit, bear witness with this word and this truth, and you can receive it to the confusion of face, brothers and sisters out there, so the Israel, all the Israelite foreigners, okay, this does apply to you, our Israelites, though you look like the heathen nations. To the few aqua, which is your sisters that do listen, learn, shalom, to the elect of the nation of Israel, wherever, wherever you may be scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, for this word is going out to, shalom to you as well. To you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, you combine and consist and make up the two tribes of Israel as you see on this chart right here. You are the Hebrew Israelites, the chosen people of the Most High Yahweh and His only begotten Son, who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ once again, Yahweh Shah. And, um, I just played that clip. Okay? Basically, you have the U.S., uh, they're basically, I would put it to you like this, they're stealing oil. Okay? 
they uh, uh, uh going against, okay, what you would call the, the global law, and they're stealing oil out of Syria, okay? They don't really have the permission to do what they're doing, but they're doing what they're doing anyway because they're the wicked, okay? Yeah, okay? So they're trying to seize oil fields because what's getting ready to happen, in case you don't know, what's happening really, we're already in World War Three, right? Um, these nations, America, is getting everything it needs, oil, okay? And everything else it needs because we're about to go to war, okay, with the other nations, okay? Especially Russia, okay? As the scriptures prophesied, but the point being is, let me start off with this. I start off with Isaiah 24. And, um... I'll start off with uh Isaiah thirty two and five. It says the vile person shall be no more called liberal, nor the churl said to be bountiful. Okay, and who's the vile person, man? Esau Edom, the so called white man, okay? He's that vile person. He's no longer looked at as a liberal, man. Okay? Everybody knows when it comes to America, what's what's uh what's up, man? Okay. For the vile person will speak villainly, and his heart will work iniquity, and that's what he's done. Okay. Donald Trump, what did he tell? What did he tell the uh people that they're gonna pull their troops out of Syria? They're gonna leave Syria alone, and what they end up doing? They ended up uh stealing, okay, Syrian oil, man, because this is not the first. Now they're trying to recover the oil fields because they just stole, okay. I believe they just stole uh, uh uh oil already. And they're trying to just literally just recover the whole oil fields, man. I thought you was getting out of Syria, man. It shows you that, that this man is born speaking lies as is prophesied in uh, Psalms 58 and 3, I believe, man. Okay? To practice hypocrisy and to utter error against the Lord. To make empty the soul of the hungry and he will cause the drink of the thirsty to fail, man. Okay? The, the instruments also the trial evil, he devises wicked devices to destroy the poor with lying words, even when the needy speaketh right, right? But the liberal devises liberal things, and by liberal things shall he stand, okay? And that's what he's doing, man. He's a hypocrite, okay? Esau will tell, tell you he's doing one thing, but he'll do the complete opposite, man. He'll tell you his, he's fighting ISIS, but he's he's the one that's funding ISIS, Okay? So this, this man is no longer looked at as that liberal, man. Everybody knows when it comes to America, it's some agenda by it. It's some uh, 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 plot. It's something that America wants, okay? It's Habakkuk. All right, this is Habakkuk. This is Habakkuk 1 and 5. Behold, ye among the heathen, in regard and wonder marvelously, for I will work a work in your days which ye will not believe, though they be told on to, told you. For lo, I raise up the Chaldeans, that bitter and hasty nation, which shall march through the breadth of the lands to possess the dwelling places that are not theirs. Okay? And this, if you go in Isaiah, uh, I believe Isaiah 47 and 1, okay, it calls, okay, Esau, I'm just talking about Esau in that, that, that chapter. Okay, the Chaldeans. Okay, so this could apply to him, man. Right, and don't he uh march through these different uh lands and steal what their resources, man? He sets up what the scriptures would call garrisons. Okay, so when they were set, okay, whenever they had some sort of control over that area, they would set garrisons up. Okay, in case they had to use their military. Okay. They are terrible and dreadful. Their judgment and their dignity shall precede themselves. And that's why Esau is doing that. Because for so long, he's been able to go around the planet, rape, rob, and murder, and nothing's happened to him. He feels like he can't be stopped. He, nobody can beat him, man. Like it says in, uh, I believe, Obadiah, the first chapter, on how he he's, he, uh, 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 he's uh, uh, I'm the most high, and how who shall bring me down, you know? That's why he's doing this. Because he believes that, He's done it for so long, 
who's going to stop them? Their horses also are swifter than the leopards and are more fierce than the evening wolves. And their horsemen shall spread themselves and their horsemen shall come from far. They shall fly as the eagle. And that's a heat hint right there because who uses the eagle? America used the eagle. And what, what, what used the eagle before that? The Roman Empire who was ran by what? The Edomites. Okay. They hasted to eat. And that's what he has. His military is scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, man. All these countries, you have an American uh, uh, military base. At least most of them. You have some sort of base that America, uh, America has set up. Okay? They shall come all for violence. Right? Because it tells you in John 10 and 10. The thief comes not but to steal, but to kill, and to destroy. Man, that's what you see. That's what you see in that video. They shall come all for violence. Their face shall sup up as the east wind. And they shall gather the captivity as the sand. Those people, man. Their resources. Okay? The way of thinking. All that, man. Right? It says, and they shall scoff at the kings, and the princes shall be a scorn unto them. They shall deride every stronghold, for they shall heap up the dust and take it. So it's, you know what this applies to. This is Esau, man. Everything you see happening is Esau doing to a T right now. Right? Okay? So it's Esau, man. Habakkuk, the Habakkuk, the book of Habakkuk, period, got Esau down. To the to the uh uh to the max man, he sets up puppet governments, and when that fails, what does he do? He just take action. He uses military. He uses that sword man that he was blessed with to go in and, and, and throw down the line, so to say. He goes in and force his agenda. Okay, this Habakkuk two and five says, yeah, also because he transgressed by wine and the wine's philosophies that America has spread throughout the four corners of the earth. That's why the earth. It's, it's in a, 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 a depressed state as it's in. The people, the, the trees, okay? The skies polluted with chemtrails, okay? And these nations, they can't catch a break, right? Yeah, also because he transgressive by wine, he's a proud man, okay? Neither keep it at home, right? Why are you in the Middle East, okay? What are you in the Middle East for? It's not because you want to uh, 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 keep America safe from enemy... Uh, Enemy combatants outside these other nations because these other nations, all they want to do, okay, is live. But you won't allow that because you're the devil, man. Okay. So you all out in the Middle East, you got all the military set up in these different countries, okay? These different foreign lands that you don't belong in, okay? Who enlarge of his desire as hell and is as death. And cannot be satisfied, but gather onto him all nations and heap it onto him all people. And that's what you're doing. And look. Shall not all these take up a parable against him and a taunting proverb against him and say, Woe to him that increases that which is not his? Right? That ain't your all, but you're taking it. Okay? Because you're Esau. You're a vagabond. You're a fugitive, man. How long? And to him that laid himself with thick clay. And that goes into, if you go into thick clay, it goes into the word of, of Yacht, I believe. And it, uh, it goes into something pledged, pawn goods, thick clay by false uh, uh, Edom. But real, really, it says weight of pledges, heavy depths. And this country is in major depth, okay? This country is failing bad, so they're doing whatever they could to, to uh, uh, preserve it, especially to get prepared for this war, man, okay? That's the depth in this country, man. So Esau going all out. He's going to do whatever he could to... uh. To preserve his kingdom. Because it's falling. Right? So not they rise up suddenly. Who? The other nations. And that's what you see Russia doing here, man. Russia is being, like it uh, prophesied in Ezekiel the 38th chapter. Russia is being that guard over the other nations, man. Every action that America is taking, Russia is stepping in, okay, and, and saying something. Because America know Russia is, is, is strong, man. Extremely strong. And it's getting strong, right? Shall they not rise up suddenly that shall bite thee, that shall bite thee, and awake that vex thee, and thou shalt be uh, uh, for booties unto them? Because thou hast spoiled many nations, all the remnant of the people shall spoil thee. Because of the men's blood and for the violence of the land and of the city and of, of, and of all that dwell therein, man. Okay? And that's what's about to happen. These nations, okay, that you're spoiling. They are, are, are going to spoil. They're going to spoil you back, and they're letting you know, right, that uh, 
They're gonna uh 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 take America out, man. They're tired of this this horror, man. Cause that's what the scriptures compare America to. Okay. Oh, this, uh, uh, that horror, man. Okay. So these nations, they're gonna uh uh uh. They're gonna take America out, man. This is um Jeremiah uh 40, 50 and 8. Remove out the midst of Babylon and go forth out of the land of the Chaldeans and be as the uh the he goats before the flocks. For lo, I will raise up and, and cause to come up against Babylon an assembly of great nations from the north country, and they shall set themselves in array against her. From thence she shall be taken. Their arrows, which is the missiles, okay, shall be as a mighty expert man. None shall return in vain. Right? And that's talking about when it's shot. They're not going to return. They're not going to be destroyed. They're not going to malfunction. They're not going to do nothing. They're going to hit their desti uh, destina uh, uh, destination, which is America, man. Right? And Chaldea shall be a spoil. All that spoil her, all that spoil her shall be satisfied, said the Lord, man. So these other nations are gonna uh uh uh, uh spo destroy this place, man. There's just no, there's no uh, other way around it, man. Including its own allies, man. Your own allies is gonna turn against you, according to Revelations 11, I believe, 17 and 16, right? They're gonna turn against you. And they're gonna destroy you, man, because these nations are tired, man. They're tired of you going into their lands. Demonizing them, saying, accusing them, making false report, which the scriptures say not to do, okay? But this is a God-fearing nation, right? Bearing false witness or putting a false report on them that they're rape, robbing, and murdering their own people, which is not true. And then going over there with your military, okay? And, and, and just doing whatever you want, man. These nations are tired of you spoiling them, man. So they, they're getting up together just like a bully on a, pay, a playground. You got a bully on the that one bully on the playground, and you got a bunch of kids that he victimized each week. What do you think they're gonna do when they get tired of that one bully? They're gonna gather together and what? They're gonna kick his ass, man. That's what's about to happen, man. Because you were glad because you rejoiced, or you destroyers of my heritage. And what is the Lord's heritage? The Lord's heritage is the so uh, uh the Israelites, which is the descendants of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans today, who you destroyed, man. Just like it prophesied in uh, Deuteronomy 28 and uh, 46, I believe. Okay? How you put the yoke of iron upon our people's neck and you destroyed them, man. Our people, okay, they're following after your wicked philosophies. Okay? They, uh, 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 you basically brought our people up to be anti, uh, uh, Yahweh Shah, man. To be against the Lord, man. They've been trained from birth. We've all been trained, right? From birth to come up against our own power, man. Who's coming to get you, man? Because you are grown fat as the heifer at grass and bellow as bulls. And you grown fat because you had the Israelites in captivity. Your mother shall be uh, sore confounded. She that buried shall be ashamed. Okay? And what did America come out of? America came a powerhouse out of uh, Great Britain, man. And they they had they divide over there in the EU, man. Behold, the hindermost, hindermost of the nation shall be a wilderness, a dry land, and a desert. Because of the wrath of the Lord, it shall not be inhabited, but it shall be wholly desolate. Everyone that goeth by Babylon shall be astonished and hiss at all her plagues. Right? Put yourselves in array against Babylon round about. All ye that bend the bow, shoot at her, spare no arrows, for she hath sinned against the Lord. Shout against her round about. She hath given her hand, her foundations are falling, her walls are, are thrown down for it is the vengeance of the Lord. Take vengeance upon her as she hath done do unto her. Cut off the sword from Babylon, him that ha that handled the sickle in the time of harvest. For fear of the oppressing sword, they shall turn everyone to his people, and they shall flee everyone to his own land. Okay? So, that's what's going to happen, man. These nations, they, 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 they're clicking up. They're making, uh, what do you call them? They're making like, uh, they're forming together. That's how the best I could put it. They're forming together. And what are they forming together to come up against? America, man. And that's what's going to happen. These nations are going to shoot those ICBM thermonuclear missiles, which is of 
Yahweh Bashim Yahusha, and they're gonna shoot them arrows at America, man. And America's gonna be one big desert, man. So this war that America is pushing for, because it's really the elites, but it's really above them, Yahweh Bashim Yahusha, because he wants this war. Because in order for him to come back, okay, this war has to happen, okay. But when this does happen, these nations shoot those missiles. America's gonna be a big desert. All these buildings you see around you, these the the work building that you go to, your house, all that's gonna be destroyed. And if you're not on the chariots, okay, if you're not of the elect, okay, if you're not an Israelite of the elect, okay, and you're not on them chariots, and you're still down here when they're shot, you're gonna be destroyed, man. Okay, so this was getting ready to happen. These nations, they've had it with America in this in this treacherous ways, man. So these nations, they're round. That's what you see now is they're rounding up. And they're going to come together and they're going to destroy this place, man. And if you don't believe, so what? It's going to happen. Okay? Everything else is happening. So, that's it. You know, it was a real quick video. Call Halal Laya Hawa Shimel Shah Shalom to the left.